Good morning, everyone. Here's your Southeast Idaho weather hazard and impact briefing for Wednesday, September 18th. And the weather's about to get interesting again. A reminder, we are mid-September and it's only a week until we officially start fall. We're going to get a little bit of a head start. Rain and mountain snow returns through Friday, especially tomorrow, later tomorrow through Friday afternoon. By the time we get to Friday, especially in the morning hours, snow levels down around 7,500 feet over the central mountains. Elsewhere in that 7,500 to 8,500 foot range, our confidence on this forecast is really, really high through tomorrow afternoon. Once we get to Thursday evening all the way through the end of this event, the forecast confidence really goes down, and we'll talk about why in a moment. And we do have the potential for a storm next Sunday and Monday. You want to talk about low confidence. Everything we look at either says we're dry as a bone or we're going to be just as wet as we are with this system coming through in the next 24 to 48 hours. There's that storm system on satellite. It's continuing to develop, and it's going to take its time getting across here. Again, the bulk of it coming tomorrow, later in the day, as we go into Friday as well. Here is a look at how things are going to progress. We're going to take this through tomorrow afternoon since, again, we have the highest forecast confidence during this period. We're going to watch some showers and thunderstorms, isolated thunderstorms moving into the central mountains later on today. But you notice when we get to around 5 or 6 o'clock, a pretty good band of precipitation setting up over the central mountains. And that band is actually going to expand as we get into later on this evening in the overnight hours. And this band is pretty there's a good consensus between all the data that we look at that's going to set up basically right around Gilmore Summit the Wood River Valley down towards Twin down to the west of Jackpot might see it hedging just a little bit farther west if the system slows down a bit but it's most likely going to set up in this area and it's going to set up there overnight tonight and through most of the morning for tomorrow and you'll notice as we'll take this through tomorrow at noon that initial band weakens, but as the main low comes in from the west, there's a pretty good area of showers and thunderstorms that's going to redevelop during that particular time frame, and then the rest of that system comes on through. We're going to take a look at the forecast at least through tomorrow afternoon first. What you see on the left-hand side is rain, or in case we're going to have to start talking about melted snow in the mountains. And as we go in through this afternoon and this evening, a very light precipitation amounts. If we get some snow, it's really, really high up there, and it's going to be pretty spotty. Now, as we go into tonight, there's that band of precipitation setting up over the central mountains. If you're going up to Mount Bora tonight and tomorrow morning, there's going to be some a little bit of light snow up there. Otherwise, snow levels by morning generally around 7,500, 8,000 feet, most likely around 8,000 feet in the central mountains. It might be cold enough in the Stanley Basin, maybe a little bit of snow trying to get in there as well, but not very likely it appears at this point. And as we go through for tomorrow, there's that band of precipitation continuing to set up over the central mountains, but it's going to try to expand a little bit. I think it's most likely going to stay over the central mountains. As we get those showers in there tomorrow and even a few thunderstorms in the central mountains, that's where we can see some higher precipitation amounts, maybe quarter to a half inch of precipitation. Now, this is looking at a worst-case scenario. This is one of the models that's indicating we're going to get quite a bit of precipitation potentially tomorrow night and Friday morning. Now, the darker green here, some areas in the central mountains, this model and a couple of others are trying to say half an inch to an inch in a six-hour period. That's not very likely, but keep in the back of your mind, this is one of these storms that could be a surprise, and don't be surprised if a few spots, you know, in a given six-hour period tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, pick up over a half an inch of precipitation. How does that impact things? We're going to, have to worry about burn scars with rainfall falling on top of them. And generally, this could impact the entire fire weather season. We're already starting to see it wane a bit. This could really put a dent in this year's fire weather across the area. What's also interesting is this is the driest model once you get east of the Central Mountains. By the time we get into Friday afternoon and evening, though, a pretty good smattering of showers and even a few thunderstorms generally north and east of the line from Stanley to around Milad, maybe Bear Lake going into tomorrow night and Saturday morning. And those lingering showers will be generally across the central mountains into the eastern highlands through the rest of the day on Saturday. But it's going to be light precipitation. We're not necessarily worrying about that as well. Now, that's the worst case scenario. Let's look at what we're actually going to forecast, the most likely scenario. Again, light snow in the mountains tomorrow night into Friday morning, generally around a tenth to a quarter of an inch with some of that precipitation. We'll start to see that sp expanding eastward again. We're talking, our forecast is wetter than the one we showed you all ago going into Friday morning.
and then we go into Friday afternoon. We could see some decent rainfall in the highlands east of I-15, also right along the Wyoming border back up towards Island Park. A few of those storms could pop out just over a quarter of an inch of rainfall and light snow in the mountains. So again, it's going to be snowing up there. If you're going to the mountains, be prepared for colder weather. We're not talking about a lot of wind. There's just enough to make it pretty chilly across areas. But if you're headed high up, be prepared for cold, windy, and a little bit of snow in the forecast. Jumping ahead, here's we are today. Look at we're talking 70s a good, across a good chunk of the Snake Plain into the South Hills, the Albion Mountains, the highlands south of the Snake River. Elsewhere, 50s and 60s in the mountains. As we go into Thursday, cooling off a good 10 degrees in some areas by the time we get into Friday. Look at those cold temperatures. 20s and 30s in the mountains, 40s in the high in the Snake Plain but highs only in the 50s to near 60 in the lower elevations 30s and 40s in the mountains and warming up a little bit over the weekend we're not really going to talk about that storm because like i said it's a either we're going to get wet or dry scenario there's really no confidence in that forecast so we really want you to concentrate on what's going to happen with this storm system that's coming through for tonight tomorrow into friday once again, rain and snow in the mountains, snow levels falling through Friday. Once we get past tomorrow afternoon, there's going to be some wiggle room with that forecast. If you have any questions, please give us a call or send us an email. We're always here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Have a great day, everyone, and please be safe out there.